Southlands College was founded in 1872 by the Wesleyan Methodist Conference. It was a teacher training college for women. As it expanded, it moved first to Wimbledon Parkside and then in the 1990s to a new site on Roehampton Lane. It did that in order to become closer to its sister colleges to form the University of Roehampton. One ambition for the new buildings on Roehampton Lane was to say something through those buildings about our Methodist heritage and about the values which are held dear by the Methodist Church. We wanted to do that in ways which spoke not just to Methodists, but to people of all walks of life, people of all faiths, people of no faith. In the video that follows, you'll hear from a number of people who are involved in moving us from that design ambition into a lived reality. The people who took us from a design through to a construction site and then into a modern university college that we see today. My name is Richard Young and I was a partner at the architectural practice Shepherd Robson, uh, which was founded in 1938 and was the partner responsible for this project. Well, there are a number of features in the college which I hope reflect method ethos. One would be the courtyard principle because it's gathering everybody around a central space. There are, of course, sub-courtyards in the building in the academic area, and there are sub-courtyards in the residential area as well. So there's a kind of hierarchy of space here. Now, hierarchy is not what Methodism is about, I realise that. But the idea of drawing everything together, uh, I think, is one important aspect. The other, I think, is the simplicity of materials. Because Methodism is a very simple, a simple, it's got a simple ethos. And so the cho simple choice of materials and the simple choice of spaces, uh, and if you like, the openness of the buildings into and from the courtyard, uh, and the way that you can get into the courtyard and see out of the courtyard, I think reflected, I hope, what Methodism, or one of the aspects that Methodism might be about. I had to learn a lot about Methodism in order to try and understand what the project was about. If we take the chapel, for instance, which is circular, and it's circular because one of our, when we went to Cambridge and had a day walking around college buildings and uh, thinking about what form buildings might take, a circular chapel seemed to reflect the notion that there isn't a kind of centrepiece in Methodism. Methodism is a very inclusive uh, philosophy. Uh, and having a building which could face different directions at different times for different functions seemed to reflect that. My name is Mike Lee, and I was, long ago, principal of Southlands College. I was very convinced that we had to take a quick decision, either to move or to stay, not to haper around. I was decided because in my first, on my first day, uh, the roof fell in on the old college, and that seemed to be a sign from God that we ought to move pretty quickly. Through a process of iteration with the wonderful architects, uh, we tried to work out what visually uh, a Methodist college ought to look like. Um, we didn't want it to be a pastiche with with um, statues of John Wesley and Susanna Wesley all over the place. So we wanted to, to reflect in some other way, in a, an organic way. And this was where the architect, Shepherd Robson, and particularly Richard Young, were very, very important in the process. Most of the students had no idea what Methodism meant, and we had to convey something in a very non-heavy way, a very unheavy way, to make sure that something of the spirit and idea, the ethos of Methodism, got through to them. So we wanted something that was understated, if anything. We wanted something that was simple, uh, both in terms of the use of colours, uh, was muted rather than showy, and was inclusive, that, that um, created a community without closing that community from the outside world and from outside influences. And this is really what we talked through with the architect, and we believe they interpreted it miraculously. 
I'm Robert Jones and I had the privilege to be chaplain here at Southlands in 1997 when we moved from Wimbledon Parkside to Roehampton Lane from uh, tired and somewhat dilapidated buildings to this sparkling, modern, inspiring college. It's absolutely deliberate that the first thing you see as you enter the uh, accommodation and teaching area is the chapel there slightly to the left uh, and in a key position. It's there as a reminder of our heritage as a Methodist college and it's there as a, an offer, a gift of a place of restoration and renewal both physically and spiritually um, in, in our tradition. This building is uh, Extraordinary, really. It's a work of art. To, um, to, to lay bricks in a circle is extremely difficult. It was, it was built by two bricklayers who, at the end of uh, their work, said to me, this is the most wonderful work we've ever done. And they just do it very, very gradually. They, they, build, they lay a, f a few uh, layers of bricks and then let it settle and then they lay some more a few days later and I was here to watch it go up uh, uh, layer by layer um, and to sense the um, commitment and the excitement of, of the chaps who, who actually were doing, doing the very detailed and tremendous work. You can build the most brilliant buildings uh, possible but what is absolutely important is what you do with the community when you uh, are populated. So we spent a lot of time when this was first opened um, just working hard at building community and valuing people. I hope the building would appeal to people whether they have faith or not. Uh, and if you like that's one of the objectives of the building because if it had been, if it had been too overtly Methodist um, it, the dilemma might then have been that it wasn't actually Methodist at all because it would have been cutting out people who weren't necessarily adherent to the Methodist philosophy. So it had to be a building in which people, whoever they were and wherever they came from, would um, enjoy being part of.